Okay, so here's our situation. When I read this word problem, I'm looking for two things. A possible output variable and a possible input variable. Anytime we're talking about a mathematical relationship, we're talking about how one value changes, and that change is caused by another value. Now, when we look at this word problem, notice the very first line. In 2006, about 68% of the homes of U.S. homes had Internet access. There are two values, 2006, 68%, a possible input and output situation. I continue to read this. The percentage was expected to increase on average by 1.5%. If something is increasing, I'm viewing that as some form of change. Change is described by slope. How is it increasing? By 1.5%. So, when I choose an input variable and an output variable, my slope must be consistent with that because the slope tells me how the output variable changes for every one input variable. So if my output variable and input variable are coming from these two values, and if I view this as my slope, that should tell me which is the output variable and which is the input variable. So when I read this, it's changing by 1.5 percentage points, which means that has to be my output, percentage points, per unit of input, which is going to be in years. So this is how I'm determining what is the potential output, what is the potential input. So I'm going to start by defining my output. f of x, my output will be, and I have to be very, very specific. 68% of the homes had internet access. I'm not talking about one value, but the variable. So it doesn't stay that amount. It's changing. So my variable is just going to be the percentage of U.S. homes that have internet access. Now I've clearly defined what my output variable is and what the units are. Next thing I need to talk about is my input. My input we already decided was years, but not just any old years. When I think about my time, what I want to do is set it up so I automatically have a y-intercept, which means I need a value <coughs> when my input variable is zero. So, what am I going to choose for that? I'm going to let all of this start in 2006. So we are talking about years, but I want to start here. So by starting in 2006, years after 2006, Six. This immediately gives me my y-intercept because in 2006, x was 0. In 2006, my output was 68. I now have a y-intercept. I now have a slope. From here, I've got my formula f of x equals slope 1.5 plus the y-intercept. Now a reader should be able to fully explain what is written on the left merely by looking at what is on the right. 
all except for the very last part for the next four years. We'll get to that next. But here's what I'm looking at. My output is a percentage of homes with internet access. My input is years after 2006. This formula here tells me that in 2006, 68% of the U.S. homes had internet access. And then that was increasing by 1.5% per year. The formula over here should read like the words do over here. It's just a different way of writing the information. So all of my English people, it's all about literacy. Reading and writing. Now, last piece of information, last goal, domain. What are all of the possible inputs on this? Well, let's talk about my inputs. My inputs are the years. Specifically, how many years after 2006 are we allowed to use? Would I allow to use the next four years? So I can start 2006, 2007, 2008 on the fourth day. So any number in between 2006 and 2010, however, it must be adjusted in this way, years after 2006. So we're starting at zero. Oops, sorry. Set of X where X is in between 0 and 4. 